Hey everyone, in this video series, I'm going to show you how to build a to-do application in Swift. Uh, it's going to be a simple CRUD application, which will be having a list of tasks where each task has two things, a title and a deadline. All right. So in this application, you'll be able to add a new task as well as edit it, which includes changing the data as well as deleting it. All right. So let's begin. Thing you need to do is you need to get Xcode on your system. Xcode is just an IDE which is used for developing apps for Apple products. Okay, so you need it for iOS development as well. So now if you already have it, you can skip this step. Otherwise, you will need to download this from the Mac App Store. So, so, so if you don't have it, then head over to your Mac App Store, which is here for me. Click on the search bar, search for Xcode. And it should show up okay should click on it's already installed on my system so it's showing update but if you don't have it it will show something like get and you can just install it like any other app okay so and also it's a very it's a pretty big app it's around 40 GB it, it requires around 40 GB of storage space so make sure you have it uh, free beforehand before installing otherwise it's gonna give you an error mid midway okay so yeah so once it's done uh you can just close this you can just open the xcode app and it should look something like this this thing is going to be empty for you because you don't have any projects and now you should click on create a new xcode project which is here okay so here is a list of all the possible uh types of apps which we can create we're going to create a simple app which is this thing so we select this and click on next now we'll need to give a name to our app i'm going to give a name which is to do app demo but you can give any name of your choice okay in uh, for this for if for the interface you should select storyboard because in this tutorial we'll, we will be following the storyboard method and for the language use swift okay so we click on next we will select the folder in which we want to save our xcode project and i'll select desktop and click on create all right so now our app is set up so let's run it once to check if it actually works okay mm, and it's working it's giving us a blank screen because we don't have anything for now all right so once we add content to it it's gonna show up here okay so we can stop it for now stop the build and let's uh, close the application for now because we need a few more dependencies okay so the next thing which we need is realm so realm is actually a mobile database which is used to store data and it's a nosql database uh, all right so basically it stores a bunch of objects into it and it's uh, basically that's about it. and it's uh, simpler to use so since it's this is a beginner friendly tutorial so i'm go going to be using realm in this okay so now in order to get realm into our pro project we need to integrate some sort of package ma manager here so the package manager which is used uh which is widely used for ios development is cocopods and cocopods and in installing cocopods is really simple it's just one line of code you have it here okay so what we need to do is we need to open our terminal head over to our project directory which is to do to do app demo for me and here you'll just need to uh, paste this la line of code all right and hit return okay so once you do this cocopods will get installed in that directory and uh, then you can move on to the next step 
which is uh, so he here I'm not going to be installing coco pods because i already have it so one but one once you install coco pods you will type this command which is pod in it which will basically initialize coco pods in your repository or project and then if you check your directory now there is an additional file called pod file in your directory so then you will open pod file pod file is basically a text file which contains the list of all the dependencies on your project okay so here we'll just simply add this dependency which is realm swift which is the swift version of realm okay we save it and then we can close it now and then in term terminal we'll have to write the in command pod install it'll start installing and it's done so now now you can close the terminal and you can now check the project folder which will basically have a lot of things but what you need to look for is this thing which is to do app demo dot xc workspace now this is where we will be basically mainly work working from now on this it, it basically just uh, replaced our xcode project okay so now double tap on it to open it yeah let's run this once to check if it works so while it is building i'll show you uh, some resources about realm like uh, the way realm stores data is in the form of json like objects okay so let's look at the docker documentation once for realm uh, if you look here this is the I ios sdk for realm yeah so here basically we will be defining an object like this okay so here as you can see yeah and our project is done building and yes it shows a blank screen because we have nothing yet that's all right so it's working properly let's stop the build and let's come back here so as as you can see this is how you need to essentially name this okay so we'll look at it more once we start actually working with realm in the in the subsequent videos so that's all you should need that to it's that's all that you need to know for now so i'll also link the doc i'll also provide the links for the documentation you can check all that okay so let's move on to the next thing so in the next video i think it's getting very long now in the next video i'll show you how to set up the project start the create create the first screen which is the main screen which has the list of tasks and from then then on we can uh, pick up mongodb or and realm storage okay so if you like the content you can subscribe to it okay for the next the subsequent videos i'll see you in the next video